Okay, we're back down the line. How first to make a big knot in a timeline. Example of the knot called AD. Alright. Big one. Now the real story would be the real reality. We should live it. Alright? If you want to call it the real timeline. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. It would be called real timeline. Sure. It would. It would. The timeline would be. Everything was fabricated. The real story was that Pilate, the Roman procurator, was a friend of the family of Jesus. He used to come to visit them in Nazareth. He was writing reports where he has noted it's curious that in the family of uh, Yeshua, they all like him, like him. They are all blonde with blue eyes. Well, you can see that official story by the church is not exactly the same. It doesn't stop there. There are many initiates involved in there, including Essenians. And of course, Essenians, besides being the sponsors for Yeshua, I said I would do a story about the insanity of the New Age concept that spiritual stuff should be free of charge. That's insanity. Because Jesus, Yeshua, was sponsored by the Essenians who were the richest people of the time. Jesus was driving quite a good big crew, and that crew should be large, fed, closed. You had, you had to pay the fee each time you enter a city to pass a, a river. So the Senian were paying all of that. And man of, G of Jeshua was always hosted in the house of a rich Essenian someplace. So, Essenian, they had the big money over there and the power. So it brings the two together. And they had a relationship with the Romans. So the true story is the Essenians perfectly knew the ambush and the plan of the dark side to take over the Lucifer power. So they did what they could. They paid the Romans and Pilate was in the plot. Even, even if Yeshua was the one crucified, because there were three or four, three orders being them. Uh, the Romans were, were paid to remove him as quickly as possible so he didn't die on the cross truly. Even if he, he has been on it he was healed and then he continued his teachings in India. you got now books and stories about tomb of Jesus in India. We have the stories of the Native American tribe that he visited the tribe and teach all of them from the top of Alaska to the bottom of South America including all the islands of the Pacific and the Caribbean. Yeshua went to teach in those. So he didn't die of course. Okay, all of that was the manipulation to take over the Luciferian power. Because for that you need a sacrifice. Sacrifice with blood. 
because as you know every satanic ritual is based on blood and David Icke explains very well the importance of having the blood for the archons, reptilians so watch what David Icke said but the subject is extremely well explained the plan at the time was then to build a new reality, yeah. a new collective consciousness, but totally fabricated upon false information. False information. The Christian church did build a church with totally manipulated and false information. That's what it is. More and more people revealing the truth about that. But now, bringing a lot of people into that new consciousness, the consciousness they call Christian, it's nothing to do with the world, world Christ, no. If you bring a lot of people into that new religion, you are going to bring a gigantic thought form, collective consciousness, that, because we know how it works with quantum physics, the thoughts are going to manifest reality. And the reality manifested would be the one plan by these initiates of the dark side, eventually to conquer the whole planet. And indeed they almost succeeded with the Christian church to take over many countries, in open countries, and then move all of that to the Americas and other Africa and many places in the world. So to some extent, we almost could say that the reality of the Christian world, world, world Judeo-Christian world, is totally fabricated, uh, is a fake one. A fake one. It's not the, true, the real, real one that should have been developing with the teaching of Yeshua and others, Gautama and everything, building a, a mass consciousness of extremely evolved spiritual people, and the transition of planet Earth would have happened long ago, long ago. There were also initiates from the same line of light that followed. They knew what had happened with the takeover of the Luciferian power and built a religion of it with it. And these people were called the Gnostic. It has been mentioned in a video I've put explaining the archons by the David Icke. Gnostic we are mentioned in there. Continue. So Gnostic were initiates following the Essenians, same branch. And they knew what has happened and they planned to reverse this, to reverse this manipulation of reality that we already could say was a big first knot of making a fake timeline. The timeline is very close to the other one. Okay. I will mention again what we learned from Star Trek but how close they are and, and such. Let's continue with the Gnostics. Gnostics knew the manipulation, so they wanted to reverse that. 
So they started to teach the real teachings, right? From Yeshua, with special books, including a book from John, which was uh, hidden in the hand of these initiates, kept secret, and many other things as well, like how to heal the people, to do everything that Yeshua wa was doing, no stick knew that and we are doing it too. So they decided to try to reverse the process. Took a long time, very, very long time, long time. All the way to the Middle Ages. But at some point they almost succeeded. In the 12th century, 13th century, Gnostics were all over Western Europe, all the way from the current location of Yugoslavia, Balkans, all the way to Spain, probably, and in the north, they were everywhere. And they were teaching the true spirituality, the true meaning of becoming a Christ, a Christ, Christ energy, and all that stuff. So in the Middle Ages they were called the Cathars and they almost succeeded to reverse the plan of the Christian Church which today is a satanic church said by everybody. The Cathars were saying it in the first meeting before it started to be a big war of 40 years. There were a few meetings between Catholics, Christians, and Cathars. And the Cathars told in the face of the Catholic and Christians, your church is the church of the devil, which means satanic church. They told them, 12th century, 13th century, sound friends. And then they had to be eliminated completely. So I will make special videos on the guitars. But then they tried to bring back the real timeline, okay? Or to make evaporate the false timeline which was forming because of the takeover of the Christian church over everything. So, in some sense, you could say that the burning of the cutters initiates vandalized big fires at several locations. That was another way to manipulate the timelines and to bring it about in full force the fake timeline so yes the famous dates of Morse 12 Morse 12 14 excuse, excuse me Morse 1244 where the final cutter initiates men and women burn alive in front of the castle of Monsegur, which was the castle of the Grail. We can say, I would say, no problem, that was another manipulation on the timeline, another big knot to bring energies to the fake timeline, away from the real one. But still, the fake timeline was not totally fully established even they've tried many other knots on it because there was a lot of initiates and spiritual teachings still going on everywhere whole continents of people being totally spiritual see what I mean the far east the places where the soul of the people is in a natural state of spirituality, a lot of Slavic countries, for example, 
not to mention all the native tribes all over the planet, not to mention the Celts. Uh, so many knots are being done here. But that's what that big one to understand how to manipulate reality by creating an ofi uh, official story that would become the real story, the real perception in the mind of the people and then in turn where well, their thoughts because of quantum physics they will manifest that into the world and everybody will feel and say that this is the real world, that this is reality. This is how you create fake timelines. Okay, that was the manipulations that could be done with big knots on the real timeline in order to create the fake one. Well, no, that was not enough because at some point other things happened. There were many teachers of light in the centuries that followed the destruction of the Qatars. There were renewal of spirituality in the 18th, 19th century. There were a lot of movement, movement from the Far East. It happened at the time of the Qatars. Right, all the teachings of our East were present in all the south of France and part of Italy, the Corn Occitania. It was there. But again, it came back again at the beginning of the 19th century, 20th century. And again, it was a reawakening of spiritual forces that would be a threat for the managers of the fake timeline. So a few things had to be done. A few things were done and that would explain the part of the current new age into which that in relationship with the fake timeline. Late 19th century, first part of 20, 20th century, the Illuminati, the initiate of the dark power, Luciferian satanic power, we are very busy studying against something. Why not again start a new religion? All right? Because we cannot call it Luciferian from the very start. It wouldn't work, of course. <laughs> Using the story existent of Yeshua to build a church and call it Luciferian would have not worked. Okay? You had to steal the personality and some of the teaching of Yeshua in order to do that. But more recently the idea was why not now to bring the true religion in the open, in the open. Well, time to mention it then. In the 19th century there was a, a guy from Arkansas I, I live in Arkansas quite a number of years, so I know that guy. I used to go to Walmart on Albert Pike Boulevard. So I knew about that guy, and I researched the guy. So Mr. Albert Pike was one of these initiates of the dark side. At the time of the American Civil War, that we Europeans do not call this way, because the true name for it is Session, Se Session War. Uh, our historians in France and 
Western Europe call it this way. They call it the war of secession, not civil war. That was invented by other story makers uh, from the north of the USA.